reporting. Today, 30 volunteers from all across New England pack their bags to head to Florida. This is video from the Red Cross building in Providence. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock continues our coverage now. Sheena, some thousand trained Red Cross disaster workers from across the U.S. and 30 from here in New England are answering the call, heading to the hardest hit areas impacted by the devastating wake of Hurricane Ian. Hurricane Ian leaving a path of destruction through Florida. The infrastructure in shambles. Floridians doing what they can to help one another through flooded streets and roadways. Wherever there is a need, it's all hands on deck. On Saturday, more than 30 volunteers from across the New England region packing their bags, preparing to head to the front lines of the disaster. You just prepare yourself to, uh, for the worst and hope that you see the best. The American Red Cross Rhode Island chapter and disaster relief teams deploying vans, heading to Orlando. And in two days' time, we'll have boots on the ground. In this situation, I don't think we're going to see a whole lot of dust. And uh, we just get on there and try to help these people, give them all the support we can. Local volunteers Ken Slimey and Laura Callahan say they'll be hands on in a variety of ways mental health, uh, just sheltering, feeding, um, making sure that somewhat comfortable in the situation that they're in. Putting their lives on hold to answer the call, helping those dealing with the unimaginable. The hurricane is not over, um, and so we'll see where the biggest need is. But it's just great to have the opportunity uh, to to help. You're so busy, you really don't have a lot of time to miss anything. You're you're really under the gun. There's a lot to do. And you can help those impacted by the storm by donating to the Red Cross. Just use your smartphone camera to scan the QR code on the bottom left of your screen. The Rhode Island Blood Center is also asking for blood donations. Nationwide, there was an average one to two day supply of blood heading into the storm. Right now on WPR.com, you can find continuous coverage and incredible pictures showing the storm's impact. Reporting in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.